Hi guys. With Thanksgiving right around the corner, let's talk about getting food from the ocean. Did you know that about one billion people on Earth rely on the ocean for their primary source of protein? That being said, it's a very important place to get our food and a healthy fishery, something that we're going to talk about today, is pretty important as well. So if we want to look back in the, uh, the times of the pilgrims, the codfish here in New England was extremely important. In fact, it's been an economically important uh, fish for the past couple hundred years. However, the size of the fish that we pull out today is a couple feet smaller than the average size of the fish that they pulled out back in the 1600s and 1700s. And that was, that's mostly due to overfishing and targeting of larger species. If you look at other animals like shellfish, lobsters, the average size has decreased since the time of early European colonization. Today, however, the codfish is unfortunately not as common as it used to be. In fact, if you were to buy cod in the United States, most likely you'd be purchasing fish that was caught in Norway or Russia and not the Gulf of Maine, which is unfortunate. However, here in the Gulf of Maine, we have a few species that are extremely healthy and sustainably fished. Both of those, or two of those species that I want to talk about are right behind me in this tank. The striped bass, which when it's caught with a pole and line or hand line, is a sustainable option for purchasing fish. The other animal behind me is the American lobster. The American lobster is also a very healthy fishery here in the Gulf of Maine, due in part to the regulations on the size of the animal that's being taken out of the water. And due to the support of the lobster community and their uh, desire to keep this important, uh, important species healthy. So if you're interested in getting an alternative, a seafood alternative for your Thanksgiving dinner, look for species that have been sourced sustainably and that would keep our, our ocean and our communities healthy. If you're interested in learning more and staying informed, Keep up with our blog at SecoScienceCenter.com.